Yo, what is up guys? I am not dead. I'm back. So just a quick video for you guys today. I'm going to be sharing with you something which I think will make a lot of people's lives easier when it comes to playing Outlaw Rogue, um, whether that be in Mythic Plus or raiding. Um, and it is when to finish on four combo points and when to finish on five combo points or six combo points if you're running deeper stratagem. So I'll begin as I usually do just by explaining uh, when and why you will want to use your finishes on max combo points and when you want to use uh, your finishes on four combo points so that you can eventually make that judgment call for yourself based on things you have access to like buffs and procs. Um, I'll then share a couple of weak auras which I've made uh, and I personally use on my rogue um, which will hopefully make it easier for you to tell um, at a glance uh, if you should use your finishes on four or five combo points. And yeah, don't forget to hit this video with a like if you do enjoy this type of content, whether it be the shorter length um, format that this video is going to be today. Um, or, you know, just let me know why you like it or why you don't um, in the comment section down below. Or alternatively, uh, you can uh, jump into my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash just for us. I'll put that on the screen for you now and down below. Um, and yeah, you can catch me live, ask me any questions over there. So without further ado, let us jump into the video. So since Outlaw is still the recommended spec for pushing high Mythic Plus keys, which by the way, I do also believe and um, preach, um, a question that a lot of people have is uh, when do you take your combo points all the way up to five combo points and when do you just use your finishes at four? Obviously, it's easy to watch streams and videos and things like that and you just see people sometimes using it at four and sometimes at five. And I think a lot of people think that it doesn't really matter too much, which it probably doesn't matter too much, but um, obviously, if you're doing this wrong, the energy that you might waste um, and the combo points that you might waste will add up over the course of a dungeon or a raid encounter, respectively. Um, so it is important and in your best interest to be trying to maximize your output over these keys or, or encounters. Um, so yeah, when should you finish on max combo points and when should you only finish on four or five, depending on deeper stratagem. For the purpose of the video, though, I will just talk about using five combo points as your max. So if you're using Vigor or Mark for Death, obviously, if you are running deeper stratagem, then just, you know, apply that logic, apply the same logic to uh, of what I'm saying to deeper stratagem. So when I'm saying max, it's six and below that obviously is five, right? For optimal DPS, this largely depends on two things. The first of which is uh, whether or not you have the broadsides buff from Roll the Bones, um, which is, you know, when your generators will generate additional uh, combo points. Uh, and the second being um, whether or not you have an opportunity proc, which is the free pistol shot um, granted when uh, Sinister Strike strikes that additional time. Um, you might wonder why we still use a build at four combo points um, with a Skull and Crossbones buff, which is... Um, debuff when since the strike has an extra chance to grant to uh to slash an additional time um and that is because uh it's still only an increased chance and not a guaranteed thing um to proc an extra since the strike and therefore get an extra combo point um and it's not enough for it to factor into our decision making um if this does proc we will obviously lose our combo point um but we will still acquire the opportunity proc that being the pistol shot um, which is the most valuable part of the extra sensor strike mechanic anyway. So jumping into some gameplay now then, guys, um, to cut a longer story short, uh, in essence, you only really need to keep track of when you have broadsides and when you don't, um, and obviously your opportunity procs. So when you do have broadsides, you never want to be using a builder when you're at your fourth combo point um, or your second last combo point. Um, if you do use any kind of builder, whether it be pistol shot or sinister strike, you will always be wasting combo points. And obviously that's a bad thing. Wasting combo points obviously means less resets on all of our other abilities and cooldowns. So we want to be using those as much as we can. And the second thing is when you do have an opportunity proc um, and you're at your fourth combo point, um, you do not want to be using your opportunity. Um, otherwise you'll be gaining two combo points and that will take you over the cap and you'll waste one. So what you want to be doing there is uh, using a finisher, then using an opportunity proc, and then carrying on building with Sinister Strike after the opportunity proc. So opportunity proc always takes priority over Sinister Strike. No, you should not use Sinister Strike because it gives you one combo point at four, um, because what if you proc another opportunity proc and it overwrites the previous one, right? So what you want to be doing is using a finisher at four, and then using your opportunity, and then back to Sinister Strike. That way you do not overwrite any opportunities, uh, and you also don't waste any combo points. 
So now onto my Wii Cora, which is basically going to assist you through this whole process. As you can see it popping up on screen for you now. Um, it's that little hunter's mark looking arrow which appears above my combo points. Um, basically, I've just set it so that every time I have broadsides, it just shows above my fourth combo point or fifth if I'm using deeper stratagem. There's two weak auras. Um, just to remind me that like when I get those combo points, come up to it, I'm like, oh, okay, like that arrow is pointing at that, that combo point. That's my finisher combo point. That's my finisher combo point now, right? Um, and then... Uh, other than that, it just procs when I have an opportunity. So it basically assists me to just kind of like take my mind off checking if I have broadsides and things like that. It would just be like, oh, okay, like if, if my combo point lines up with that arrow, I use a finisher. That's pretty much how it goes. And obviously, if I'm already maxed out on combo points and past that arrow, then I just use my finisher as usual, which will be at max. So jumping into the weak auras now then, guys, um, I've just made them into a group. There are four weak auras in the group. Um, I've named it Just Russ Outlaw Finisher Helper um, because I'm bad at naming things, I guess. Um, but all you really need to do is go into the individual auras. These two uh, will load when you do not have Deeper Stratagem. And uh, the ones with underscore DS are the ones that will load with Deeper Stratagem. So all you need to do is go to your combo point bar, however you do that with weak auras or um, add-ons or whatever. Um, I use LVI. So... I just now go and position the ones without DS over my fourth combo point. Um, and then I can, so these are these two. And then you can see that these two here are slightly offset. So if I do now spec into deeper stratagem, that will change my bar. And these two will be over my fifth combo point, right? Um, so that's what you really need to do. The broadsides one will always load whenever you have broadsides. And the opportunity one will only load when you are specced into... Um, uh, quick draw because that's the only time that the opportunity procs are going to give you two um, two uses or sorry two combo points um, because of uh, the quick draw talent here so yeah that's pretty much it guys um, use that use that weaker I'll put it down below in the description box um, and in my discord as well um, use those if you need um, they will be quite helpful of just taking your mind off it. it's one less thing to worry about if it lines up with the arrow, use a finisher. If you're at max combo points, obviously use a finisher, right? So yeah, that's about all I have for you guys. Um, hopefully it helped. Hopefully it um, opened your eyes or maybe the weak aura helps you. Just hopefully it had some kind of use. Let me know if it did down below. Uh, as I said, feel free to jump into my Twitch stream. I'll put that up again for you on the screen. Uh, and yeah, I wanted to apologize for my um, lack of uploads recently. Just been a bit overwhelmed in real life and things like that. But we're getting back on track. I've got a few things in the works, uh, including um, a kicks and CC guide for every single mob, every single pack and every single dungeon for the popular routes of, at the very least, um, applicable to all classes as well, not just rogue. Um, so share with your friends and tell them to come subscribe and stuff like that if they might be interested in that. Uh, and then another series I'm going to be working on is um, how to go from complete noob or LFR raider or something like that to uh, Mythic Raider, uh, including everything from character setup, um, ways to get your information and improve, um, to like the way that your mindset should be and how to think about things. So that will be a multiple part series. Um, i got all that kind of stuff in the works, but they're bigger projects. So until then, I'll be bringing out smaller videos um, here and there, um, hopefully keeping you guys um, in the loop. But yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll see some of you on the stream. And if not, and uh, I'll see you guys here. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Uh, until next time, have a great uh, evening or day, and uh, peace.